hi welcome back to my channel i'm shauna if you're new and i am gonna be talking about my february sales numbers and stuff i did do one of these videos for january i'm gonna try to do it monthly this one's gonna be a little bit different i'm actually gonna go into detail about what i sold i do want to show you guys like the good sales bad sales if there were any of each. <laughs> I, I find it really interesting to see like what people are selling, what's selling right now in general. I hope this video gives you guys an idea of like what to expect in general from someone who sells on Poshmark. I'm not exactly like someone who sells hundreds of thousands of dollars on Poshmark, but I, I do it in my spare time and I find it pretty fun. So I hope you guys do enjoy the video and make sure you subscribe if you like content like this and let's just get into it. So I did sell stuff on Poshmark Mercari and Kitizen and I'm just gonna kinda group it by the platform and then talk about the final numbers at the end of the video. So I'm gonna start with Poshmark and just start with the older stuff. So on February 1st, I sold a pair of Allbirds Wool Runner Athletic Shoes um, they were men, size 12. They sold for $35. That was just like what they sold for. I didn't send an offer or anything. My earnings from that were $28 after the Poshmark fees. So that same day, I sold a Victoria's Secret padded sports bra, size 34D. It sold for $20 and my earnings from that was $13.88. I think I did send an offer on that one because that seems like a pretty heavy <laughs> cut for my earnings. I did think that sports bra was really cute, so I had to pick that up. So on February 2nd, I sold a pair of Not Your Daughter's Jeans metallic gold slash pyrite coated jeggings. They were very interesting. They were size 16. I never had picked up that brand before, so I wasn't sure what to expect from it. Um, the person did make an offer for $15. I just decided to accept it because I just, it was, my first time picking up that brand so i wasn't sure if they would even do good um my earnings ended up being 12 dollars from that one february 2nd i sold a new tag nike optic camo gray tankini swimsuit top size large it was a kid size uh sold for 18 dollars and my earnings were 14 dollars and 40 cents i picked it up not realizing that it was a kid size like I didn't even look at the size tag. I just figured it was like a women's small or something. But yeah, no, it was it was a size large in girls. But that's okay. It still sold. Um, it was pretty cute. So on February fifth, I sold a pair of J Crew cap toe leather heels. They were size nine. They sold for twenty dollars, and I ended up earning sixteen dollars on those. That was from a fairly recent haul where I found like a bunch of practically brand new J. Crew heels and I think most of them have sold at this point. They were just all so cute. I had to pick all of them up <laughs> and they were priced pretty affordably so I've made my money back already on those so I'm very excited about that sale. On February 5th, I sold a new tag Nike blue dry fit tank top, size large, it was men's, sold for $15 and my earnings ended up being $12 on that piece. That one I believe came from like a men's rescue box or something from ThreadUp, so definitely made some money back on that one. On February 6th, I sold this black orchid white distressed overall piece, um, size 27. It sold for $44 and my earnings on it was uh, $32.74, but it ended up getting lost in the mail. And actually yesterday I finally sent in a like a case thing saying like, hey, the buyer saying like it, they haven't received it. This was sent like forever ago and um, the tracking stopped on it and stuff. So Poshmark did get back to me and it looks like they gave me my money and the buyer their money back. So at least we're both covered on like both ends, but it is unfortunate that it was lost in the mail. It was a really cute piece. So I don't know, maybe it'll show up at the person's door one day and they can have their money back and have the piece. <laughs> but yeah, that it always sucks whenever stuff like that happens. The next piece to sell was this torrid black capri exercise leggings. 
very cute um i think i have like two or three other pairs still listed they're all the same size size one x they sold for twelve dollars my earnings was uh nine dollars and five cents i think they sent an offer and i just accepted it so they are i'm pretty sure priced higher than that but i figured i mean i still was making my money back plus i had like two other pairs so <laughs> i was completely fine with that i sold a pair of converse chartreuse green yellowy sneakers they were size seven um they sold for twenty dollars my earnings were 13.54 um, I believe I sent an offer out on those, but I mean Converse sell really consistently for me and I always make my money back I always not always pick them up as long as they're in good condition. I'll pick them up um, Especially if they're like adults Converse kids Converse uh, I'm more likely to pass on because they don't sell for as much as like adult ones but um, yeah, that's something that I just, I typically pick up because they sell pretty regularly all year round for me. So I'm fine with that. They typically sell for like about 20 bucks, so. I sold a pair of Born Calf High leather boots for $52. They, these were so cute. I was not gonna pass on these. I, I can't remember how much they were priced at Goodwill, probably like, it was less than 10 bucks, so it was definitely worth grabbing them. And I think I actually got these from a new Goodwill that like I started going to. I'm pretty sure I recently put up a video too about like going to a new Goodwill. I'm not sure if I put up the video where I got these boots yet though. I I'm kind of behind on some videos, but this one's gonna go up like today because I need to get this video <laughs> up, so this video where I sold these or where I purchased these boots will pop up at some point but my earnings from this ended up being $39 and 14 cents um yeah so boots are still selling but eventually it's gonna slow down it's starting to get into the warmer months and stuff so hopefully I can get a few more boot sales out of the winter season but we'll see because I did pick up a bunch of winter boots yesterday <laughs> because clearly someone cleared out their closet and yeah so the next sale was these daniel cremue khaki flat front shorts in a size 36 these came out of like a men's rescue box or some sort of men's box i would not have picked these up otherwise but they sold for 14 dollars and my earnings ended up being eight dollars and 59 cents from these and um yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about those. <laughs> the next item was this North Face Fair Isle knit sweater in a size small. Super cute sweater. I got this from Goodwill at some point for like five bucks or four bucks, whatever. <laughs> and um, yeah, sold for $22. My earnings ended up being $17.60. So cute. Definitely would have picked up again because, I mean, I mean, I, I don't know. I love Fair Isle. Fair Isle prints, they're just so cute. This next item was an Ariat lightweight fleece jacket in a size medium. Picked it up from Goodwill, paid about $4 for it, sold it for 18, and my earnings ended up being 14.40. It sold in a day, so definitely, I, I don't know, I was kind of surprised that an Ariat fleece jacket would sell that quickly, but I guess keep an eye out for those. <laughs> I mean, it is starting to get into the lightweight jacket season, but Ariads? I don't know, I mostly know them for their cowboy boots, but oh well. The next item to sell was this Victoria's Secret super soft model or model, I don't know, wide leg pant in a size 2XL. Um, they sold for $35, my earnings were $28. These I picked up fairly recently too from the Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale. These did sell for profit, I think I paid 20 bucks for these. So I made like $8 more on them. So, I mean, it's not amazing, but it's still profit. <laughs> so I don't know, I was kind of experimenting with the Victoria's Secret sale for like uh, uh, retail arbitrage, but I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have done anything like that, like with Victoria's Secret specifically, or in general retail arbitrage. I don't know if that was 
the best sale, but at least I made my money back. So make sure you check out that video if you haven't watched it yet. <laughs> Hi, sorry to interrupt this part of the video, but this is editing Shauna here to tell you guys that I forgot to say like three items and completely just bypass them. So the next item that sold were these Morel Kids like hiking ankle boot type things. Um, they are a size one. Uh, I sold them as like boys shoes. They ended up selling for $26 and my earnings were $20.80. The next item to sell were these vintage L.L. Bean high-waisted denim cutoff shorts. These were really cute. I actually wanted to keep them for myself, but they did not fit me, unfortunately. But they sold for $20 and my earnings for those were $16. And the last item to sell that I missed were these Victoria's Secret pink seamless high-waist leggings. Um, they were like a tie-dye pink color. They were a size extra small. I did purchase these leggings from the Victoria's Secret retail arbitrage that I did earlier in like January. Um, I sold these for $40 and my earnings were $32. I did make a profit on these leggings. I can't exact, I can't remember exactly how much I paid for them. I want to say like 20. Those were definitely a successful sale. So I'm okay with that. Okay, now let's get back into the normal portion of this video. The next item was a bundle of four items. They sold for $60 and my earnings were $48. I sold this uh, Dallas Cowboys football graphic tee in a size medium really cute um i figured it would probably sell because dallas cowboys were are pretty popular so um i think i just picked it up from goodwill um this j crew merino wool and silk ruffle cardigan in a size small i was kind of unsure about this after i bought it like i don't know it just i think it had like a little tiny hole in it and yeah so i of course i noted all that too um, these Lucky Brand Basil Brown Leather Ankle Booties. These were really cute, but they also did have some flaws, like just minor scuffing and stuff. And the last item in the bundle were these Citizens of Humanity Kelly Bootcut Jeans. These I was so worried about because the size tag was cut out of it and there was no way for me to truly know the size, so I had to measure it. I couldn't even put a size in the listing. I just put measurements provided and then put the measurements in the listing. So I'm so glad these sold. I was just so worried about it, but I feel like this person ended up buying quite a few things that were kind of like worrisome items to me other than like the Dallas Cowboys tee because there's nothing wrong with that one. But the other three items had some sort of issue with it. So very satisfied with the bundle and they gave me five stars. So awesome. <laughs> this next item is a huge bolo. I don't think I've put out the video where I sourced this item, but I did get it from just like Goodwill. Um, but the brand is Melanzana. I, there's like a huge story behind this hoodie, but to keep it a little bit short, I basically found it. The tag didn't really have the brand on it. It just had like the website. So I just, I, I don't know, it didn't look like anything, but it was really soft. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna look it up, why not? So I looked up on Poshmark and they're selling anywhere from 100 to $200. No idea why, or at the time I had no idea why. So I bought it, I brought it home, I did more research and found out that the store has been closed since, since like the COVID stuff has been going on. So they're doing like, uh, you have to enter to even be able to buy anything from them. Definitely a huge bolo. The store is based out in Colorado, so it's not even a local store. So I just was so excited to find this. But it ended up selling for $140, and I think it was only listed for like three days. Like, it really wasn't up very long. And my earnings from that ended up being $109.54. And I paid $4 for that hoodie huge bolo and it's like a microgrid hoodie but um yeah amazing size extra large Woo! that was a good day when i sold that <laughs> um the next item is this converse chuck taylor all stars madison mid top uh sneaker size eight um it actually sold for more than what i expected i don't even think i sent an offer out but it sold for 35 dollars and my earnings ended up being 28 um, yeah, I 
I don't know. Some Converse sell for more than others, so I was pretty happy happy with that. They even had like a little bit of like black marks and stuff on them, but they still sold. Next item is this Euro Soft by Soft Tan Suede 2 inch heel in a size 9. They sold for 20. My earnings ended up being $13.54, and I have sold a red version in the past. I actually sourced them at the same time, but the red one sold first. Um, but yeah, I was happy to sell those. Sorry, mischievous cats. <laughs> the next item to sell was these Morel Blue Waterproof Boy Sandals in a size 13. They sold for $14 and my earnings were $8.59. I've had these forever, so I was so happy to sell them. Um, yeah. <laughs> the next item to sell was like, it, it's something that I, I'm never gonna pick up again. It, I picked it up like probably a month or two ago, but it, it just was not worth picking up. Um, it's these Jersey's Outdoor Mossy Oak pa Pattern Pants. They sold for $10. My earnings were $7.05. Um, at least I made my money back and a tiny bit of profit, but yeah, d yeah, no. I'm never picking those up again. <laughs> I, I tried to experiment and try something new and it just, it didn't work out, which happens sometimes. <laughs> I also sold these Roper Western Leather Cowboy Boots in a size two, kid size, um, for $22 and my earnings were $17.60. So those were a nice sale. I mean, Roper is a good Western Cowboy Boot brand, so keep an eye out for those. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna mention the sale just because it, it makes me sad. It was a sale that was canceled, but it would have been a really good sale if, if it ended up going through, but it was these Dolce Gabbana, um, pink wooden heels in a size 10. They would have sold for $65. Of course, I'm not going to include this in my final numbers because they did not actually end up selling, but the person canceled it like probably 10 minutes after they bought them. Um, they are flawed, which I think is why they canceled. They probably bought it and then looked at the pictures, but I probably should lower the price or just send out like heavier discounted offers on these. Uh, the next item that actually sold were these Victoria's Secret thermal long PJ plaid things. It was a PJ set and a size extra large. These I should have sent a counter on because I did not make my money back on these. They sold for 30 and my earnings were 24 and I bought these for $24.99. So literally I lost 99 cents on these, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> I definitely should have countered, but I was like, eh, whatever. But now I kind of regret it, but it's okay. At least I almost made my money back on those, but that was from the Victoria's Secret Retail Arbitrage haul. Um, the next item were these Prada Black Sport Genuine Leather Loafers that were in a size five and a half. Um, I took a lower offer on these because they're such a small size and I've had them for a while. Uh, they sold for $35, my earnings were 28. I did have another pair from the same haul that were also Prada that sold for a lot more, but they were a different style. So um, I was fine with that. I made my money back. I technically didn't even buy those because um, I was with someone else who offered to buy them for me. So I think it was like my parents or something. I don't know. It's been a while. <laughs> the next item was an amazing sale. It was this, um, I'm gonna butcher this. It's a popular brand, but I don't really know how to say it. Um, Fajal Raven? I don't know. They're really, they're known for their backpacks. Their backpacks are really popular, but um, it's this, Greenland G1000 water resistant coat, very heavy duty, cute, has a like a hood that can be pulled out of the collar. So nice. Um, it came in a thread up women's rescue box and it also came with a, um, like in that same box there was a North Face long puffer coat. That one sold last month for like over $100. This one sold for $140 and my earnings were $112. Technically, when I like did all the math out, I only paid about three bucks for it. That's crazy. Amazing profit. Keep an eye out for these coats. <laughs> if you come across these coats, definitely pick it up. It's worth 
buying. The next item were these Asics Blue Dynamic Duo Max Athletic Shoes in a five and a half men's. They sold for $22. My earnings were $15.14. The next item to sell were these Hudson Camo Colby Ankle Moto Skinny Cargo Jeans. <laughs> Lots of keywords. They sold for $45 and I earned 36 on these. These came out of one of my first denim rescue boxes from ThreadUp. Um, I recorded that, I did do a video for that box and it's like, I've had these for a while, but I'm, I'm honestly surprised that they sold for $45 just because I've had them for so long. Um, I didn't send an offer or anything. They just sold for that price. Um, the next item to sell were these Lucky Brand cargo pants um, in a size six. They sold for $35 and my earnings were $28 on those. They were new with tags, so. Um, I sold these Sperry Brown Leather Oxford Loafers that were size six for $30. My earnings were 24. Um, I picked those up at a local thrift store. Um, which I'm kind of iffy about now because, um, I don't know, they don't treat their products very well. The next item to sell were these Crocs Open Toe Water Resistant Sandals. They are a size 11, so they were a bigger size, and I believe that was like a women's size 11. Um, uh, they sold for $18. My earnings were $14.40. This next sale actually was on February 28th. I know I didn't say the dates for like almost all of this stuff, but I don't know, I just felt like it was getting kind of wordy, especially since I did go into detail about some stuff. But um, this was like an amazing sale. Um, honestly, I, had, I didn't think these would sell for my full asking price, but uh, just because they're not like the popular Doc Martin style, but these are Doc Martens. They're, uh, they were the black Robin Wyoming side zip boots in a size seven. They sold for $120 very excited about that and you could tell that they were a little bit older because like the um the label on them were it had the size and stuff it was kind of wearing away and stuff but they did sell for that first pre or that full price and i mean they're a cute style i just didn't expect them to sell for 120 dollars the next thing that sold that day were these born western style ankle booties uh, in a size eight they sold for 35 dollars and i earned 28 from those um, they were really cute when I found them. I'm pretty sure I got them from Salvation Army. I did get those uh, Doc Martens from Salvation Army too. I think that's another video that I still haven't edited and list, uh, posted yet, but <laughs> I'll get to it eventually, I guess. Um, I don't wanna post too many videos like back to back, but I've been, I've been getting through them. Clearly you can see that I've been posting videos lately. It's just they're all older videos. <laughs> but I kind of like um, posting those older videos now because then I can add in, oh, this thing sold for $100. So I don't know. But yeah, so that is what sold on Poshmark. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna talk about Kitizen. I only sold two things on there. So this is gonna be short and sweet and then we'll do Mercari. <laughs> Um, they weren't super amazing sales or anything. There were, I mean, I made my money back there. Yeah, yeah. So the first item to sell was this Velvet Heart Chambray Embroidered Tank Top in a size small. Um, this came out of, I'm pretty sure, like a women's rescue box or something. Otherwise, I don't think I would have picked this up on my own. So it sold for $15 and after the fees, because like um, I do free shipping on Kitizen, so I have to pay for the shipping. I ended up earning $9.31, so I did make my money back and then some, so that's pretty good. And then the other item that sold on there was this J. Crew red sleeveless blouse type thing. And um, it, they did purchase it for $18, and I ended up making $11.95 off of it. So um, that also made my money back. That was I'm pretty sure from a women's thread box too. But I might have picked it up, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> J. Crew is kinda like, I try to be careful with J. Crew now. Cause you don't wanna get like pieces that are too old and out of style, but some older pieces, if they're general enough, like, like classic pieces, um, I would pick them up, like a sheath dress or something. Um, I would still pick that up. So the Mercari stuff isn't gonna be in order because like on 
when I look at like my completed sales and stuff, everything is just all like mixed together. So I'm just gonna go in the order that it like comes up on here. But the first item to sell was this Free People Film, film Noir sequin mini dress. It was new with tags. It sold for $28 and after fees, I made $24.09 from it. The next thing to sell was this Brooks Full Zip Patterned Running Vest. Very cute. Um, yeah, I, I like it. Um, I would, I personally would probably keep it for myself if I ran. <laughs> but um, anyways, I, it sold for $20 and I ended up earning $17.12 from that. I also sold these Prana Tan cargo style shorts in a size 14. Um, I don't remember how I got those shorts. I think they came from some sort of thread up box, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I picked them up, I can't remember. Like from Salvation Army or something. But they sold for $21 and I earned $17.99 from those. This next item I had in like my personal, like, like this was something that I got for myself and I've had it for a while, but it's the Star Wars Kylo Ren Funko Pop bobblehead. Um, I really didn't, I don't know, I didn't really want it anymore. I actually have more that I need to find and list, but I need to like search through some of my old stuff to find those. But it did sell for $12 and I earned $10.15. And all of that's technically profit because I did buy it for myself and kept it for a while. I think I've had it for like years. So this next item is this Nike gray dry fit padded sports bra that sold for $17 and I earned $14.51 from that. I sourced it from Goodwill, um, probably paid about like two or three bucks for it. This next item I've had for ages, so I'm so glad it's gone now. It's this new tag ultra flirt braided strap romper sold for 16 bucks. I made 1364 from it. So happy it's gone. <laughs> I mean, it's cute, but I just have had it forever. I also sold these Nike golf gray dry fit shorts in a size four for $22 and I earned 1886 from these. Um, I picked them up from Goodwill, super cute. Um, I figured they would sell pretty well just because Nike golf seems to do pretty well. Um, I also sold this new tag Crazy 8 Dinosaur Tank Top in a size large. It came from some sort of like mystery box type thing. Um, it was a kid shirt. Uh, it sold for $9 and I earned $7.54 from that. So this is something that I had for myself. I got this out of like a Jeffree Star like Valentine's box from a few years ago. And it's just a Jeffree Star bread pop socket. And I already have a pop socket. I don't really need this one. This one's just been sitting on a shelf just collecting dust. So I finally listed it and it sold for nine bucks and I earned $7.54 from that. So I'm cool with that. So this next item is this Duluth Trading Co. gray pair of leggings in a size 2XL. They sold for $17 and I earned $14.51 from these. This next item was a bundle that I had to create for this customer, but it was this Free People um, like uh, animal print blouse. It had like a flaw. There was like a, a pull or something. I can't remember what exactly it was like on the shoulder. And then, um, there was a Calvin Klein, uh, animal print, uh, sleeveless blouse or something that she wanted to. So I sold them, sold both of those to her for $25 and I earned $21.47 from that. I was so excited to get rid of that Calvin Klein sleeveless blouse because I have had that since like the beginning of reselling. <laughs> like it's been in my Poshmark closet for ages and when I finally started cross-listing things, I was so happy to see that go. <laughs> and then the uh, Free People top was a fairly recent pickup. This next item is this Victoria's Secret pink workout jacket. Um, I picked it up from Goodwill. Uh, I did pay up for it, but I don't think I paid very much up, like maybe like $7 or something. I don't know, I can't remember, but um, it, it was really cute, practically brand new. Um, it sold for $19 and I earned $16.25 from that. So 
very excited about that sale. I also sold these Sperry Topsider gray boat shoe sneakers. I have a bunch of Sperry's listed like everywhere. So um, I'm always excited to sell Sperry's because I feel like they sit for a bit, but they, I mean, they sell for about 20 bucks. These ones sold for 23 and I earned 19.73 on these. I typically only pay like $4 for each of them, so I definitely made my money back on those. I also sold this Under Armour long sleeve loose t-shirt. It was a kid size large, sold for $9. I earned $7.54. It I'm pretty sure came from a mystery box type thing too, because I don't typically pick up kids kids stuff. I also sold this Victoria's Secret Very Sexy Balconet Bra for $14 and I earned $11.89. I feel like this one's been sitting for a while. Um, I listed on Poshmark like what feels like ages ago and then I cross-listed it onto Mercari and it ended up selling on Mercari. So I also sold this Tupac um, graphic t-shirt from Bravado. Um, it actually sold for $20, which I didn't expect it to sell for that much. I thought it was going to sell from like an offer or something, but you know, 20 bucks. And then I earned 17.12 from that. So that was a decent sale. And I mean, Bravado isn't even like a major, like awesome t-shirt brand. It's just a general <laughs> t-shirt brand. So I think it's because it's a Tupac t-shirt. I, I also sold this English factory puff peasant blouse. Um, this came from a box because otherwise I don't know that I would have picked it up. It is a cute style though, so maybe I would have, I don't know. But it sold for $23 and I earned $19.73 from that top. I also sold these men's city street slim straight jeans for $12 and I earned uh, $10.15 from that sale. I sold this Valentina um, parrot novelty print tunic top it had like a shark bite hem it had like some pretty cool stuff going on it did sell for 15 bucks and i made 12.76 from that the last item i sold on mercari was this disney catalog winnie the pooh tote i thought this tote was so cute when i picked it up i got it from salvation army um i paid less than 10 bucks for it i can't remember how much though maybe like five or something but it sold for $21 and I ended up getting $17.99 out of that sale. Okay, so those were all the individual items that I sold. Um, now let's get into the final numbers for this month. Hopefully this video doesn't end up being like super long. I guess we'll see like whenever I edit it and stuff. But I apologize if this video is super long. Let me know like if you guys like this kind of video, like formatted this way, or if you want me to just talk about the final numbers and like some random sales. Um, yeah, just let me know your thoughts because this is new to me. So I wanna do whatever people enjoy. I don't, yeah, yeah, just let me know. <laughs> so I'm gonna talk about the individual numbers for each platform, and then we're gonna talk about the final numbers. But on Poshmark, I ended up selling 37 items and my gross earnings before all fees ended up being $1,237. Um, after Poshmark fees, that went down to $966. And then I did calculate cost of goods, but it's very average. Like, um, cause some stuff I paid 15 bucks for, like those Doc Martens, I paid 15 bucks for those. I definitely paid up but I also made like $120 or whatever it was on those. So, and then some stuff I either got for free or um, only paid like a dollar for or four bucks or whatever. So I averaged about like $7 per item. If I uh, multiply 37 by seven, I get 259. And if I subtract my posh, like my earnings after posh fees with that 259, my net earnings end up being $707 in my pocket from Poshmark. So I think that's pretty good. Um, I think I did better last month, but I also was kind of slacking this month when it came to like photographing and listing and stuff. So I do understand why it's not as high as it was last month. But um, overall, I mean, that's pretty good for Poshmark for me. <laughs> Um, on Kitizen, I only sold the two items. So my gross earnings were $33 after fees. It was $21.26. My cost of goods, like for both of those items together is about $5. Cause 
Um, they were like cheap items that I got out of like rescue boxes. Um, so my net earnings are $16.26 from Kitizen. So not amazing, but I made my money back on those items and I got them off to a new home. So I'm fine with that. Um, a Mercari, I sold 20 items and my gross earnings are $300.52 after fees that goes down to $300.58. So it's about like $52 in fees. And my approximate cost of goods, I just calculated about $4 an item because I didn't really have a bunch of stuff in there that I paid a lot for that sold on Mercari, if that made sense. Um, so that comes up to about $80 of cost of goods money, I guess. <laughs> and after I subtract that, that gives me a net earning of $220.58 in my pocket. So. Not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that, especially since I'm a new seller on Mercari. So, I mean, that's pretty good. So my gross earnings of all platforms before all fees is $1,622, but my net earnings of all platforms, so the money I took home went into my pocket, um, is $943.84. So I didn't even go over $1,000 this month. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I did last month, but if I remember right, but still $943.84. It's, I mean, it's not terrible. It's extra money. So I'm totally fine with that. And my total number of items sold for this month is 59 items. So overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I do want to grow it though. I don't want to like, I, my ideal, like situation would be earning over a thousand dollars every month from reselling but all i can do is keep working on it keep growing um i like i said this month i slacked i was not doing everything i could be doing to grow my business so um this next month i'm going to try to like be consistent keep doing stuff keep like selling <laughs> Because, I mean, if you if you sit and do nothing, you're not going to make any sales. I mean, I did make some good sales, like the hundred and something dollar ones, like whenever I wasn't doing stuff. But that was like, I mean, I didn't sell as much stuff as I usually do. So I just got lucky with those good sales. I'm happy with what I made, but I also would like to grow. So... Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know if you guys like these videos. Let me know what kind of goals you guys set for yourselves if you do reselling stuff. I'm assuming most people who are gonna watch this video do reselling stuff, but you never know, so I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, make sure you like this video if you did enjoy and subscribe if you like content like this or Poshmark videos, thread up hauls, etc. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.